hey you guys it's kristen welcome and welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video happy sunday y'all already know where i am i am at the place to be on a sunday morning which for me is walgreens so i'm gonna kick off this week at walgreens as i always do remember today since today is sunday we um we have um, a new week of deals, a new week of coupons. This is definitely your week to go out and get some coupons. So however you get your coupons, your inserts, get them because we do have the new set of PNG. So the May PNG as well as other inserts. Um, so I'm going to be going in here today to do some deals. Now I'm going to be doing a beginner friendly deal. And the reason why I say beginner friendly is because everything that I will be using today will be from um coupons like digital coupons that we got this morning as well as coupons from today's insert which is the 25th so very beginner friendly um you don't have to worry about like oh i want to do this deal but i don't have this whatever whatever now the only thing i will be taking advantage of that you may or may not have is this here booster when you spend 25 you get back seven dollars in walgreens cash um, but that's just a little extra booster, you know, whatever. But yeah, for the most part, everything I will be doing today, beginner friendly, because everything will be coming out today or came out today. It is early. Um, I'm gonna make it quick because uh, I have like 10 days left of school. So these last two weeks have been so hectic. So I don't have a lot of time. So I'm gonna run in. I do have my son in the back with me. So I'm gonna grab him. We're gonna head inside and do some deals. If you haven't already, you guys, please consider being a subscriber by hitting that subscribe button down below as well as a notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a video as well as give this video a thumbs up. Um, it helps YouTube get my video around as well as let me know that y'all like this type of content. Um, that's all I have. So let me get my child and let's head into the store. All right, you guys, so I am in the store. I also want to remind you guys that it is time for a new Walgreens booklet um they can be found in the front of the store a lot of these same coupons are digital so you can just look in your in your account and if it says like i think with card or something like that that is usually one of these coupons as well as if you don't have them or if your store doesn't carry these at front in the description box there will be a link that's going to say walgreens booklet just click that link type in your zip code and whichever coupon you're trying to use when you head up to the front, just have them scan it and you'll be good to go. So the first deal I'm gonna get into, so I do have a spend 20, get $5 back in Walgreens cash, a digital um, booster as well. These boosters do vary by account because on one of my accounts, I have a spend 50 and get seven. So it just really just depends. So I will be taking advantage of that. So the first deal I'm gonna get into is this um, buy three, get a $5, register reward deal i will pop it up on the screen on some of the items that you can choose from what i'm gonna go with is this um gillette and i'm also gonna be picking up some toothbrushes well a toothbrush so what i'm gonna get is this gillette so the gillette degree and i think secret or something is on sale oh old spice is on sale two for eleven so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna pick up two of the Gillette Comfort and Drive. They are a part of the deal. So picking up two of them, um, we do have a BOGO coupon. So they can be found in the May PNG as well as there is a digital version. So I was gonna use the paper version, the paper coupon, um, because if you have the paper coupon, I would advise using the paper coupon because the digital coupon, the expiration date is longer. So you can use the paper coupon and then later down the line, if there's another deal that surpasses the paper expiration date, you can use the digital version. Just always something to think about when those BOGO coupons are here. For whatever reason, my, so my coupons hasn't, they haven't came in yet. I know I'm doing a lot of talking, but I'm sorry. Uh oh, baby. So my coupons haven't came yet. So I was gonna just buy the coupons, the um, newspapers from the front, but the PNG coupons are not in there. The whole stack of papers, PNG, nowhere to be found. So it's okay, I'm gonna use the digital, but I just wanna throw that out there that if you do have the paper, I would use that and save that digital for later. But yeah, I'm gonna pick up two of these. Um, 
that's going to total out to eleven dollars we have that bogo coupon that's up to five dollars and 49 cents as well as on ibotta ibotta is giving back a dollar and 50 for each one which is three dollars so i'm going to grab two of these and then i'm going to show y'all the last thing i'm going to get for my buy three and then we'll go over you know that little mini breakdown and then to finish off this buy three deal i will be picking up one of the oral b toothbrushes they are on sale for four dollars and we do have two dollar coupons again we have two dollar png coupons um and a two dollar digital so same thing if you have the paper coupon i would advise to use that that way you can save this digital for later because this digital um it doesn't expire until the end of the month versus the toothbrushes i think they usually get like two weeks so something to think about but this will complete it and then we're going to go over this little mini breakdown for this buy three deal so here's going to be my buy three deal um so for all three items my total is going to be 15 dollars. we have that bogo coupon for the gillette as well as two dollars for the orb so this is going to drop you down to 751 you're going to get back that five dollar risk reward as well as three dollars from ibotta remember you're getting back a dollar fifty from each one making these free plus a 49 cent money maker y'all this is amazing especially since i am throwing it in with a spend 20 and a spend 25 so let me put this into my cart and let's get the last little items for this deal so the next deal i'm gonna do is the irish spring deal so this week the irish spring is on sale three four ten and when you buy three you get back um i think it's is it five yeah you get back five dollars in walgreens cash so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up three of them. We did receive 75 cent coupons in this week's insert. Now it is a limit of two, so you're gonna use two of the papers um, version. We also got a digital. So then after all three of those 75 cent coupons, you're gonna pay 775, get back $5 in Walgreens cash, making it 225 for all three. That's less than a dollar, y'all. This is a really good deal. And I haven't bought Irish Spring in quite some time. This music is so loud. So let me grab my three and put them in my car. And then that will complete my spend 20 slash spend 20 deal. Spend 20 slash 25 deal. So let's go over this first transaction. All right, you guys. So this is everything that I'm getting for my first transaction. Before coupons, my total comes out to exactly $25, which means I qualified to use this spin 25 and get seven dollars in walgreens cash as well as i have that digital spin 20 get five dollars back in walgreens cash they both will stack so already i will be getting back a total of twelve dollars in walgreens cash so then after the coupons again i'm using that digital bogo coupon for the gillette um and that two dollar coupon for the orb there are paper versions from the may png i do advise to use those instead um, and then I will be using that digital 75 cent for the Irish Spring and then two more paper coupons for the 75 cent for Irish Spring. So then after all my coupons apply, I'm going to be paying $15 and 26 cent. Um, but then I will be getting back. Um, sorry about that guys, their phone started ringing. So I'm going to pay 15 26, but then I'm going to get back $12 in Walgreens cash for the two boosters, a $5 registry reward three dollars from ibotta for the gillette as well as five dollars in walgreens cash for the irish spring so that's a total of 25 dollars that i will be getting back for this transaction making it free plus a nine dollar and 74 cent money maker which i think is an amazing deal no complaints at all now y'all know i love rolling what i got from my first transaction into my second transaction so that's exactly what we're about to do all right, y'all. So for my next uh, transaction, I will be taking advantage of the PNG deal. I think it's like Tide, Bounty, Charmin, Bounce, maybe I think. But those four um, select items are ringing up $4.99. So you buy four at $4.99 and you will be getting back a $6 risk reward. So like I said, I'll be taking advantage of that. So what I'm going to be doing for my four, I'm going to be using, well, I'm going to be picking up two Tide liquids. So the Tide liquids, now you can choose the pots as well, I believe, but I'm gonna be picking up two of the Tide liquid um, and then I'm gonna be getting some paper products. So let me pick up my two and then head over to the paper products. So for the paper products, you can pick up the Bounty Essential, which is the six equals eight um, counts as well as the six equals 24. 
so that's these always scan y'all um if you have any issues trying to see what is a part of a deal scan because i did pick up one of the scents for the tide i think it's like hygienic and when i scanned it it wasn't ringing up the sales price it was ringing up full price at 749 <laughs> no ma'am so yeah scan it doesn't hurt to scan so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna pick up two of the bounty essentials and put them in my cart for my buy four and it's also going to complete my second um transaction so we'll just go over the full breakdown all together all right y'all so for my second transaction this is all i'm getting a really quick little transaction again i'm just doing the buy four at 4.99 and give back a six dollar register reward so here are my four items so i have the two bounty essential paper towels as well as two tied liquid detergent now for all four of them my total is going to come out to 19.96 um coupons so you can there are two dollar png coupons for the tide and there are dollar coupons for the bounty essential there is a dollar digital for the bounty essential so you'll use that di um the digital one paper coupon for the bounty and then two paper coupons for the tide now remember i said that i don't have my tide coupons so it kind of sucks but luckily i do have this five dollar risk reward that i'm gonna use so it's the same amount of savings that i would have got anyways because it would have been four dollars for these two and then a dollar for the bounty so the math is still the same for you guys you would just use um your you just use your png coupons also if you have registered rewards i would throw that into here too you know a higher value register reward versus the two dollar or one dollar coupon so like i said before coupons your total is going to come out to 1996 so in the first transaction that five dollar register reward for the gillette deal i'm pretty sure it's going to ring up like a store coupon like the um at the top for the store coupon let me show you what i'm talking about so for most register rewards up here, if it says manufacturer coupon, it rings up like a coupon, a manufacturer coupon, but there are some that print off that say store coupon. Now, if it is a store coupon, then that's usually like off your purchase. So you couldn't use that. If you were trying to use a spend 20, get $5 back in Walgreens cash, and you threw in a in-store register reward, then your total still needs to be $20 after that coupon is applied. So I just want to throw that out too. But from the first transaction, we will be getting back that five dollar reward, which is going to be an in-store coupon. So that's going to take off five dollars. As and since it is a store coupon, you can stack it with manufacturer coupons. So I'm going to use that five dollar store coupon, um, that dollar coupon for the bounty, and then that five dollar manufacturer um, register reward that I just showed you guys. Again, y'all would use the PNG paper coupon. So it's the same math nothing's new you still have the same thing so after all of that it's going to drop you down to eight dollars and 96 cent and then you're going to get back a six dollar register reward now you can use those five dollars walgreens cash from the first transaction um, to pay down so you'll just be paying the three dollars and 96 cent um i will be using ten dollars in walgreens cash because since it's 896 plus tax i know it's gonna it should knock me over the ten dollar threshold and you can use points well walgreens cash to pay tax so out of pocket i should be paying just under a dollar if so that's what i'm going to do but yeah let me give y'all a recap of everything and then i know it may seem a little confusion confusing with all of the verbiage that i just said so if you have any questions as always drop it down in the comment section and i will try to explain it to you as best as i can so let me give you all a recap of everything that i will be getting today all right y'all so here's everything that i will be getting today for my walgreens haul for this week i'm pretty sure i'll be back again later down the line uh, week but yeah i'm gonna put everything in my car of course check out and then when i get in the car i will debrief my receipts Thank you guys for still watching if you are if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up as well as consider subscribing and don't forget to comment down below what deal you're going to do if there's a deal i didn't mention or a deal i did mention but you're going to do it a, a different way i love to see what y'all come up with so yeah so let me put this in my cart head up to the front check out and i'll see y'all in the car all right you guys so i'm back in the car and we're going to go over these receipts a couple of hiccups but i mean that's just the life of a couponer am i right so the first um transaction was the spend 
20 and the spend 25 i was combining those boosters one paper and one digital so they both will stack um so i got the irish spring um at three for ten so i picked up three of them um and then the spend the buy three deal with the two gillette at two for eleven and the oral b at four dollars so my subtotal came out to 25 dollars even you see here that that paper i handed over my paper booster um you see the spend 20 it did recognize it so where the hiccups came so you can see the gillette the oral b and then one of the or the irish spring you don't see the other two and the reason being is because it wouldn't scan. Now, let me get the coupon so I can show y'all um, exactly what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, so here is another glance of the coupon. So it wouldn't scan, and so she called the manager up, um, and they read the coupon, and they're like, oh, it's not going to attach because you need the 18, no, you need the 20 ounce bottles for the Irish Spring. And I'm like, the, huh? I'm like, um, I'll look, but I'm pretty sure yet there is no 20 ounce bottles of Irish Spring. So she went back. Well, it wasn't, of course. And she's like, well, the coupon says it has to be 20 ounce um, for Irish Spring and soft soap. So I'm like, no, because you can see right here, it says any Irish Spring body wash. Any. Um, it just excludes the trial um, sizes, which is 2.5 ounces. I said, or the soft soap, which is 20 ounces. I said, so it can be any size for Irish Spring. So the 18 ounce it qualifies but if y'all pick up a soft soap it has to be 20 ounce for this coupon to attach she's like no you know so she's like no it says right here in parentheses 20 ounces are larger i'm like okay i understand but there is no 20 ounce bottles of irish spring so then finally she's like well we can only accept coupons that the system takes so if the system doesn't take it i'm sorry there's nothing we can do so clearly we, we weren't getting anywhere so whatever i just want to say i hope if any managers or people over retail stores um are watching this please consider putting your employees in a couponing class please just one just one little beginner friendly couponing class please so back to the receipt so yeah my subtotal was a dollar fifty more um so it was 16.76 instead of the 15.26 that um i plan but i did get back my 17 dollars in walgreens cash which was the 12 dollars for those boosters and five dollars for the irish spring deal and then i did get back that five dollars reward for the gillette now i didn't look to see if it was going to say store or manufacturer coupon at the top um i just went right into it and completely forgot so i can't tell y'all i'm so sorry but it was still good i did submit my receipt to ibotta y'all know i submit before i even pull out of the parking lot because sometimes those rebates will disappear. Um, I got back $3.10. Um, it was an any a 10 cent on any deodorant rebate that I did get. So yeah, if you're not signed up with Ibotta, I will have a link down in the description box. You can sign up just to get the extra savings. If you're not using rebate apps, y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all are missing out on so much money um, and just so, much, so many benefits, y'all. It's so many apps giving you gift cards and money to shop. I have a few in the description box if you want to sign up they're free easy to use um yeah so this is the first one now let's go to the second receipt so for the second receipt i did the png deal uh, when you buy four at 4.99 and you get back a six dollar register reward so i picked up two of the tide liquids at 4.99 and then two of the bounty paper towels at 4.99 um, so you see one is the manufacturer coupon that I already had that $5 and then that $5 one that came from the first transaction. What you don't see is the dollar for the bounty. I'm pretty sure what happened is this registry reward probably attached to the bounty. So that dollar will know because it's two of them. I don't know. I'm guessing both of them attached to bounty. I don't know, but it didn't attach. It did attach in the app so i'm not sure what happened but that was a dollar in savings that i didn't get so yeah if y'all have the paper coupon for the bounty and the tide use those seems like it's some issues and then the irish spring is just i don't know why that didn't go through but yeah so this receipt made it was a dollar more so instead of 8.96 i paid 9.96 then if you're new and this you don't have any registry rewards or, or walgreens cash or anything 
then you would just use the five dollars from that you received from the first transaction so even if you didn't have those boosters like hey Kristen, i don't have those two boosters i don't have a spend 20 and a spend uh 25 that's okay you're still going to get back five dollars for the irish spring deal and then you can use those into this deal so you would you would use those five dollars and you would pay um the difference but since um i have a little more on my account my subtotal was 996 um including tax it came out to 1146 and you can use walgreens cash to pay taxes so i used ten dollars so i just paid the dollar and 40 and 46 cent out of pocket if that dollar bounty would have attached then i would have just been paying 46 cent out of pocket which no complaints at all and then i did get back my six dollar uh, registry reward for doing that deal so overall not bad y'all a few hiccups like i said but it still came out to be a pretty good deal pretty good deal out of pocket eh, you know first deal was a little a little high you know a little mm, 16 dollars. i know we like to try to spend 10 dollars and under but considering everything that i got and i got um cash back and i was able to roll it into my second transaction and make that money stretch i don't have any complaints thank y'all so much for watching and tuning into another video if you haven't already please consider being a subscriber hit that notification bell down below that way you won't miss any of my videos as well as like this video give it a thumbs up share it and be blessed y'all i'll see you in the next one bye